Reflecting on the ICT learning process. In the beginning, computers were created to facilitate engineering and scientific calculations. Then, gradually the computer's usefulness found its way into business and industry. Computers were quite expensive initially, and only those with enough budget would be able to afford them. Over the years, as innovations progress, almost everyone can now afford them. Lately, computers have reached a point that they have also become common learning tools, finding their way into schools and homes to accomplish tasks and obtain knowledge and information. The learning process and the educational potential through computers and the internet are now evident. From the usual writing letters and reports, performing mathematical solutions, drawing and editing photos, and many others, materials abound in the realm of the World Wide Web for the learner to access and learn from. Online education and learning is now common both for the formal and the self-help students. All these became available due to the advances in computer technology, internet communication, and educational innovations. Computers have been a big boom to education due to its effectiveness and efficiency. Integrating and effectively using ICT as a tool for efficient and effective learning is what every computer-based educational system can hope for. ICT is a tool for enriching a student's cognitive skills such as critical thinking, synthesis, analysis, and problem-solving capability. As an individual learner in school or at home, the student now has access to enormous educational resources in advancing and learning more than what the regular classroom can offer. The students have now in their fingertips the resources that were not available without ICT, and the efficiency and ease in accessing them has never been as fast as today. ICT also allows learning outside the confines of a classroom and beyond the time usually designated for learning. ICT in education has helped in student collaboration. Effective teachers are more guiding and interacting rather than simply downloading information from teacher to students. The challenge today is the self-discipline and self-management of young students in the use of ICT. Since computers also tend to attract them to entertainment and games which distract them from learning. ICT as means to improve the quality of community life is real and visible. The opportunities and challenges of implementing ICT for development need further and deep study to ensure its effective application. Providing reliable, timely, and accurate information to the residents or citizens of the local or country would be beneficial to everyone. An effective ICT execution should provide the following benefits. For number one, better income and business climate. Next is superior health system. Next, improved educational system. Next, constant information campaign. And then, participative decision making for constituents. Next, equitable sharing and utilization of resources. And in the last one, effective feedback mechanism to enhance government services.